Hey guys, welcome back to Josie Mae's Meals. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but I thought I would try something different. I wanted to do a dump cake, but then I wanted to try a little something different with the dump cake. And I have some fresh peaches, so I went ahead and cut some up here. I'm going to cut one more. And you can take the skin off if you'd like, or you can leave it on however way you like it. Or you can use uh, canned peaches. Those are, I've used those plenty of times. But I have some fresh fruit that I don't want going to bad, so we're going to use it. Alright, so there's my peaches. Now what you see right here is called Rambutan. And I usually get these at our Asian market. And they look very similar to lychee, but it's not lychee. And they're very sweet and very delicate. So the purpose for me using these is mostly for the wet factor, the moisture uh, for our cake, because I don't want to use a lot of the peach syrup to flavor it. I'm only gonna use a little of that, and then I'm just gonna use my rambutan. Normally you would just pull out and if you've never had them before and just eat it around the seed. That's what the seed looks like right there. They're really good. If I was to tell you what they taste like, I would say it's close to a pear. Yeah, a pear. So I have a box of cake mix and you can use whatever cake mix you have white yellow are usually the best ones to use so I have some of that cut up right there I'm just gonna pull out those little hairy bits that's what I call them at least and I'm gonna do this a little easy for me I'm gonna use tin foil pan and get the fruit right into there. I'm going to dump my peaches right in. And I'm also going to put the rambutan in with it. And then I'm going to open up a can of peaches that I do have so I can use some of that juice. All right, so there's the fruit. I'm gonna take the, some of this peach syrup. Let's cover it. Now, just for fun, because I have it, I'm also gonna throw some maraschinos in here. If I had fresh cherries still, I would have used those. And then what I'm putting on top is some peach glaze. This is all experimental for me. I haven't made this before, so if it turns out good, I'll let you guys know. If it sucks, I'm also going to let you know. But this is what I'm using to sweeten the peaches. And because we're doing it kind of a dump style, it'll also help with the um, cake mix. So I'm going to grab my cake mix. And I'm 
just going to start sprinkling that over. Now I'm not going to need the whole cake mix because of the size of my pan. So I'm going to use about half of it. And then what we want to do is just make sure that it's evened out. No big lumps. So if they bake evenly, just push it down. Get your butter. Drop that butter in there. square. That's about half a stick. If you were doing the full um, cake, you would need the whole stick. And that's it. This is going to get into the oven for about 35 to 45 minutes. We'll keep an eye on it and we're going to see how this turns out, guys. All right, guys, just pulled it out of the oven. It is piping hot, but it's nice and browned on top. I put my fork in. The peaches are nice and tender inside. I need to let this cool down before I give it a try. So we'll be right back. Alright, so I took a little out, put it in the fridge so I could give it a quick try. I wanted to let you guys know how it turned out. Got some of that bright cherry there, some of the peach, and I can see a little of that Rambutan right there. Let's give it a try. <laughs> that is delicious. Highly recommend this recipe. Tweak it the way you want to, to your liking. This turned out really well. I'm really, really happy with the flavors that came out with this. And the fresh fruit in it just is so much better than canned fruit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe. That lets me know that I keep, should keep making these videos. Again, thanks again for watching. And until next time, have a good one.